Yeah. And uh, with that, I'm going to pass it off to Paul, who's going to show you ZBrush. Great. Thanks, Rick. Uh, so I'm going to start with just talking about what ZBrush is really well known for. This is a model by Lucas Seneca. So I'm sure some of you might recognize where the inspiration of this came from. So I'm going to just turn off the coloring that he did here. And we're going to just go here in the neck. And kind of what I want to show is what ZBrush is really known for is its brush system. So this is pressure sensitivity where I can just build up a surface. I can make a bigger brush size and just start sculpting on here. And I'm not going to be able to duplicate what Lucas did here, but you can see how nice and smooth the brush system is working on the Snapdragon X2 Elite. It's a very smooth process. I'm getting great feedback through here, and this is how kind of easy it is to make wrinkles. I, I'm definitely not as good as Lucas. So we're also known for other things. So I'm going to pull up Lucy from the little animation you guys saw. So you can also paint in ZBrush, because like we said, concepting. I want to kind of change the coloring of her outfit. So I'm going to mask off certain colors that I don't want to affect. So I'm just going to take the orange. You know what? I'm going to take the green as well. And then I can just kind of just start playing with the hues. And maybe as art directors, because they always know what they want, no. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the color and say, you know what? I'm kind of liking that one. We're good to go. So that's changing my color. You know, the other thing I want to do is I got these little stickers on her arm here, right? So I want to be able to use these stickers and do something else. I'm going to switch to my painting brush. I'm going to say, hey, let's, let's take the ZBrush logo. So I have my ZBrush logo here. This is going to allow me to move this in a location. I can change the size if I want to. I can rotate it if I want to as well. But the good thing is I can keep that image just floating around. I tend to like having a little bit of the snapshot so I can kind of just go over top and kind of get a visual where I'd like to put that. So it gives me the ability to kind of find my location first where I want that and then just start painting right across the actual model. And then there we go. We put the ZBrush logo on our arm. I'm sure something awry is just thrilled about that. Oh, Windows key. So <clears throat> besides that, ZBrush is known for many things, many other things. So here's a great example. This was actually done by one of our beta testers, Joseph Thomas, in our most recent beta. And you can see this character has got a lot of hard surface on it too, so we're not just organic. But one of the big things I wanted to highlight is you can see how smooth this character is. And specifically, you can see this character is 310 million polygons across 89 different meshes. So with the Snapdragon, um, X2 Elite, you can see the process is very smooth and have a great interaction with ZBrush on the system itself. So that's a little sneak peek of what you can do in ZBrush in Cinema 4D. We can't wait for you all to experience for yourselves the native Snapdragon X2 Elite with ZBrush and Cinema 4D coming again spring 2026. Thank you, and I'm going to send it back to Mandar now.